Welcome to another episode of Palm Harbor Local. I'm your host, Florida native and real estate ninja, Donnie Hathaway. You know, I started this podcast because I'm extremely passionate about connecting you with the people and the local businesses that make Palm Harbor so special. Palm Harbor, Florida is a great place to live, work, and play. It has everything you could dream of, from the food, the outdoors, the lifestyle, to the people in the community. I wanted to create a podcast that connected the community and inspired everyone to live better. To join this community and stay up to date on all things Palm Harbor, visit my website, it's palmharborlocal.com, and sign up there to join the locals. And remember, together, we keep Palm Harbor local. So today I am joined by Sylvia Ladero and Glenda Mijan Lynch. How did I do? Perfect. All right. <laughs> so you guys are the owner of Del Mar Swim Boutique, a little bo- women's boutique shop in Ozona. Yeah. Um, so thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting us. Yeah, of course. It's super exciting to be here. We really appreciate it. Yeah, cool. So let's start with your your boutique. And how did you guys start this business and just kind of like start to like talk about the beginning of that that journey? Yeah. You want to start? Absolutely. Thank you. Um, well, first than anything, um, I would like to say that we were like a year online and then uh, we decided to make the brick and mortar. Um, how we met is how the everything really started. We mm-hmm. were in a networking in the chamber of uh, Palm Harbor. Okay. And she was there looking for options and what to do. And I had like a real estate um, license and we were just talking about how was our life here in Florida, which is amazing. Um, So we decided to start talking about um, the clothes because it was a big need for her and for me. And um, I had problems finding bathing suits, basically. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's crazy, but... I live here in Florida. I have beach everywhere. I yeah. have a boat. I have a pool, but I didn't have a nice bathing suit. Okay. So it was a problem. So um, we talk about that, and she had the same issue. And yeah. So we definitely said we need to do something about. Yeah. So yeah. So, so you- that was her idea first, I guess. Like uh, uh, she said, she had been here like for two years, and I had just moved to Florida. So I was just starting to realize it was off season and I couldn't find swimwear anywhere. And she said, well, I've been here for two years and it's not going to get better. I have the same <laughs> problem. I don't find I don't find swimwear. So we thought about, wow, well, maybe there's a business opportunity there. Maybe we should do something about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> so funny because um, when I came, my husband, my husband is American. Um, he said, you should make a store because that fits you very well. You know your personality and whatever. When you guys first moved, yes, to the when States. we moved to yeah. the states, uh, he's American. So um, I was like, yes, I'm going to do my store. I'm going to do a bathing suit store, and it's going to be super cute and everything. And I was contacting companies and everything. And so COVID came, mm. and I couldn't do it because nobody was really working very well with the everything that you need. You know, it's a lot. So it wasn't the best. Yeah, shipping, timing. getting product, Every, all that. All was, that. Yeah. That is a lot. So. It wasn't the best time, and I think I got work perfect. And so then, when we met, it was just like the perfect click to do it. Yeah. yeah. So you had the you had the idea or the thought to like open up a, a swimwear boutique before. Yes. And then you guys met, we were, and then we it was met. like, okay, let's yeah. let's and, do this. And there is a need. Yeah. yeah. And so it was just perfection, you know, yeah. the perfect partner and the need because it's really you don't find nice bathing suits all year round here. Right. So right. that's what we. Especially off season, yeah. yeah. Especially yeah, off season is it's very hard. Like uh, most of the stores, they carry swimwear during the spring and summer. They put everything on clearance in August, and then you have to wait at, until March, right. pretty much. So. So now this time of the year, it's it's October. Yeah. It's. 80, 90 degrees out yeah, maybe today. You don't find it. And there's no swimwear. <laughs> or you have to buy it online, but it, I mean, it's hard. Like, right, uh, right. really, uh, with swimwear, we, like, we are all. You need to try it on. Women, generally, yes. we are self conscious, but especially with swimwear, you really 
want to try and see yeah. how it fits. So. And every woman has a different body. And yeah. bathing suits are very particular. And so you really need to try at least fives to find the winner. Yeah. And that's what we try to do. We tell them, try this, even when take them a little bit of this comfort zone. Yeah. We always try to let them do our job and help them to find a different, probably a different bathing suit that they will never wear. Sure. So that way, when they find that that is going to be fit perfect, they love us because yeah. it's, it's super good. It's very yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, that journey. Um, so, so talk to me about... Like, so you guys started the business online. Yeah. Was that because of COVID or is that just, was that just your way of like, this is, you know, how we can start our business, kind of get things figured out. And then at some point we can open up a, a brick and mortar. Yeah. It wasn't COVID, but we definitely wanted to start small and figure things out. Uh, mm -hmm. And also it took us a long time to find a location. Mm. We knock on so many doors, like we did a lot of networking. We <laughs> drove so many miles up and down, looking yes. at malls, looking at uh, downtowns here and there. And yeah. it took us a long time because it's very hard to find a retail space within a good location with good traffic. And so it really and as a new business too, right? Where yes. the, there's you know budget is is yeah. important. Yeah, it's limited. Uh, we, we wanted a small space too to be able to start small. I mean, yeah. Many of the locations that we found, like in very nice locations, they were too big and too expensive for mm. us to start. Yeah. So, yeah. and I think that really helped us yeah. because um, all of that searching that we were doing for like six months at least. Yeah. It helped to really know what we wanted, how much we will be willing to pay, and everything. And, and it helped now that we have our brick and mortar, really. And it's yeah. very good. We we plan to have another store, if that is possible. We would love to have yeah, a store yeah. in downtown. Yeah. The Needon or Palm Harbor or Tarpon, no, but those two areas is, is what we love the most. We would love to be in Palm Harbor, really. Yeah. yeah. But we'll see what the future has yeah. to come. <laughs> yeah. And that's probably that's probably a good um, like note for anyone who's like starting a business, right? Like it takes time to get things up and running. It takes yeah. time to find a location. Like it's mm -hmm. not yeah. just like finding a, a home to purchase, right? Yeah. Like that could exactly. take time, especially the last couple of years. Everything that entails to create a business from zero. Yeah. Like, she had business before in Venezuela, but I, I never had a business. Like, just yes, all the paperwork, license, the website, the, yeah. it's so, so many things <laughs> behind right. the scenes. You're wearing a lot of hats. But I think it, it really could be overwhelming to try to do, uh, at the same time, start with a brick and mortar and the online store at the same yeah. time. So many people, they either have a brick and mortar and they never had a website, and eventually they say, oh, now it's really important to have a website too and, and they do it or we did the opposite but i think like trying to start with everything at the same time it will be <laughs> too, yeah, much. too much <laughs> too much yeah, so yeah. that way when we found the place we already have the online start up and going and everything in place and we had inventory and we had so yeah it really so, helped us yeah. yeah that made sense so what were some i'm sure it was still challenging right to start with an online store right because now you now you don't have the physical location where people are seeing you but now you have to spread the word um so what are what are some challenges you guys had oh, there tons of the challenges yeah. Yeah. yes yeah. because <laughs> first and anything we don't have that many friends here because we are both we new, new in the yeah. area so that's a big Issue. We don't have family here. <laughs> we don't, well, have, don't have, family. have a family here. No, I, I yeah, you can't any. be like, hey, hey, uh, you know, family, come, come by, come to yeah, our store, come like bring your friends, friends and family. family. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. we're thinking like, let's do a friends and family, but like, like wait, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> there is not. <laughs> <laughs> but that that's very. I mean, everything has been a great process for us mm -hmm. to be uh, more more go for it. Nothing is going to stop us. So it has been very good experience. And mm -hmm. that and and the fact that the area it find a place and and find the right product to sell. Um, you know, it it's a lot. And being a mom at the same time, being a mm -hmm. wife and so it's it's a lot. I had another uh, career. I was being a real estate agent. So yep. I had to go with a lot of things at the same time. But I think that has been amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's been amazing. And we learned so much. I had yeah. business in my country and it was great, very successful. I have a team behind me 
mm-hmm. that I just sit down and question, make the questions. Now, mm-hmm. I learned from scratch, literally everything. She taught me a lot of things in the tech because I'm not that tech. Yeah. And she's super good about that. And I had to learn from zero. And now we're doing a lot of things that I will never imagine. And yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah. It definitely... I think we learned so much about so many things that I didn't know. I didn't know about accounting. I didn't know about business. I, <laughs> like so many different aspects that we've been learning. That is, is I love learning myself. So it's, yeah. So you it's enjoy just, that process of yeah. like wearing many different hats. Right? And the, yeah, and yeah. learning and all the challenges. Yeah, yeah I love that. Is yeah. there is there one aspect of the business that you are like you've really found joy in? Like whether it's accounting or whether it's like the marketing side of it, like is there something that you really, really I like enjoy? the learning of uh, I I love uh, learning. Okay. So in that sense, I love all parts that involve all the learning. Yeah. But the one thing that I really really enjoy about this business is like the women connection mm. because I feel like I always crave that women connection because maybe because I I don't have my sister or my family here. I yeah. don't have my yeah. friends from from my country. Yeah. So uh, I have two boys, a husband, and a dog that is a male. So I'm always <laughs> surrounded by males. And I was That's an like engineer. my mom growing up. Yeah, really. like it's a long story, but I was an engineer before. Okay. So mm-hmm. even in school, I was surrounded by men. Uh, when I was working as an engineer, it was all men. So yeah. I always been like craving this women connection. So this business is so good because I guess like... 95% of the people that come into the store are, are women. Yeah. Sometimes they bring their husbands or boyfriends, or, but it's usually women. And just that, um, it, because we have like a small store, many times it's like just us and the customer. And yeah. that really, uh, it's like a different, it's really a setting where you can have like start conversations and get really kind of intimate in your conversations. So mm-hmm. it really gives you that connection with women that I that's the part that I really enjoy. The yeah, most. yeah, that's cool. I, that I part think... was missing. I cannot, especially I've been moving a lot to a lot of places. Yeah. So uh, every time you get to a new place, I've been in Florida for a year. It's like you have to start over and you don't have your friends. So that re- really giving me like instant friends. So maybe yeah. they come to right, the right. store. <laughs> and even if you are not fr- completely 100% friends, you know, but yeah, it's, yeah. But they still come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come back. With some of them, you become friends. That gives you that connection. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, What about? uh, I want to talk to you guys about like inventory, like we talked about before, you Mm -hmm. know. And obviously, like with COVID Mm -hmm. and stuff, like that was like a whole other level of getting inventory. But, but how do you, um, as a boutique, like I imagine it's different. You know, you you have different inventory. Inventory is always changing and that sort of stuff, right? So that's that's more work on on the owners. Mm-hmm. making sure that inventory is in place and and you know styles are fresh and updated and that sort of stuff so like what goes into to that part of the business well that's one of the <laughs> has of this business like yeah. you said here well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a very important i would say that's one of the most important topic in our business we have to really work hard and yeah. a lot, a lot on of that time goes into so that. uh like we were talking before the interview i think that Because of the fact that we are so picky in how many units are going to have of the same dress Mm -hmm. or the same piece that we're going to get there, we get so little that we want to be sure that everything is going to be different to the next uh, outfit or the next piece that we're going to get there. So it means a lot of work and time for us Mm -hmm. and different styles and and a lot of different locations. You know, we love, like, right now we have one piece specific that I love. It's 100% made of bamboo here in USA. So it's a totally different Crazy. material. It's yeah. super soft. It's super cute. The color is super in right now. But that work, it's like you have to look a lot to find those unique pieces. Yeah. And I love homemade or at least a piece made in USA and pieces out of USA to, yeah. to offer that uniqueness that we're looking for and make us different of the rest right. of the boutique. That's what separates you from that's that's your your store basically. Yes. Right? Yeah. Is what yeah. you carry in. What there. do you have to say so, about this? We like we really have a even our space is small, we really have a blend of because of who we are and the way we buy, we really have like a blend of styles and, and you prices. guys both do buy so you purchase we and, both buy yeah yes. they both buy. yeah that's right. a teamwork so, yeah 
so I'm from Spain and and <clears throat> so I'm I'm more used to European fashion because that's where I come from and I go there a lot because I still have all my family and my friends so yeah. I bring a lot of things from there from Spain and Italy and France and then Glenda she's from Venezuela and she brings a lot of things from Latin America we have a lot of products from uh, handmade products from Mexico from Colombia from Venezuela and then we also get uh, local 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 designs yeah. we, we have a lot of like local florida makers for like jewelry cool. for candles things like that because we also want to to support local um we also have we kind of have the same taste but we are not the same person so of course it's not completely yeah. the same. <laughs> and a little bit more casual it's a little bit more fashionista more bold yeah. so sometimes we have to like find common ground right like exactly. i i I I like certain things. I like certain things, and then we get together and it's like, okay, let's find something in the middle. Or sometimes it's like, no, let's go for what you like, and let's go for what I like, and that's gonna appeal to one customer, and that's gonna appeal to other customer that is more like her or is more like me. Mm -hmm. uh, so we end up with <laughs> such a blend of styles, and, but that's what makes us different too. So some people come to the store and. They, uh, it might look sometimes like we have uh, too many different things and too few units of each style, but yeah. but that's because that's the way we buy. That's, yeah, and that's what you want. And exactly. also, yeah, yeah, and that's what we want. And and even like you, you see in the rack, it doesn't look as as appealing as if you will have more like of a uniform yeah. color, kind of the same style in the in the whole um, store. But we offer like we try to offer. Like if we really love one dress, maybe we order one or two or three, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So and that's like, it. So like three, and that's it. That and we don't reorder the yeah. same thing. So um, have you guys yeah. ever bought the same thing over? Like it's sold Twice? out, and you're like, no. let's no. no, we don't no. do no. that. And no. sometimes we no. have we are tempted, yeah. but it's like no, 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 no. Let's build something uh, different. There is one time that, that yeah, we ordered a, maybe a different color. We did that okay. once and we are going to yeah. do it again, I think. One, but one piece, but it's not exactly the color the because same. we really try to offer something different. Yeah. yeah. And it creates more work for you guys. Yeah, but, yeah, that's but, that's but it works yeah. Yeah. because yeah. every time they come, they're going to see something different yeah. Yeah. and something with a story behind. Cool. We try to get a story. There are women hardworking in their homes that doesn't have to let the kids alone and they're working and they're and making this amazing. jewelry or yes. this candle so yeah so yeah. it's it's very i mean it's very it's getting into a different world of fashion mm -hmm. and we are deep in swim there and we love it it's it's mm -hmm. like when you love something i really i was a businesswoman before and i had like um a business that was really into women it was a hair color shampoo and all of that products okay. for hair mm -hmm. for the hair and it was nice but this is like something that i love mm -hmm. i love clothes it's um story behind uh, every woman that go to work or oh, it's in their house or oh, it's yeah, woman cool. it's so many information of yourself so it's so valuable uh, that i love it it's yeah. just my passion and then that story like you can relay that to the customer right and it just creates absolutely. a bond with that piece yeah, absolutely. yeah. yeah. that's pretty they cool they connect with you that's so yeah, yeah. cool yeah. Yeah, that's very cool. Um, so what do you like long term? Like what are your what are your kind of goals and mission of like Del Mar Swim Boutique? Like what do you guys want it to become? Because you guys are young and this is only your second year in the business, right? What's up, Palm Harbor? It's your host, Donnie Hathaway. If you are looking to stay up to date with all things Palm Harbor, then visit my website. It's palmharborlocal.com. Super simple. You can sign up there, join the locals, where I'll be sharing more information on local events, local history, and what's happening in Palm Harbor. You know, I really want to create and add more value to you as a listener for spending your valuable time tuning into my podcast. So join me there, keep listening, and remember, together, we keep Palm Harbor local. No, we, we, just, we just did one year. One year. One year. Okay. <laughs> and we, the brick and mortar, we open in Our June. Months. So yeah. okay. in June, so it's like four yeah. months. Yes. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. four months with the brick and mortar. Yeah. 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 Well, in my before life, I think that I was in love to have my own brand, so bathing suits. Ah. Right now, I love this business, and I think that you have so much to offer than just being in a bathing suit. It's a whole world. It's handbag. It's accessories. <laughs> it's gift. It's clothes. It's mm -hmm. 
everything. Yeah. So uh, I don't want to be just only in the bathing suit. So yeah. I think that if we can do something with our own brand, it would be awesome, but definitely offer the whole spectrum. I want to have everything, you know, with that big woman who can go and transform themselves in, yeah. in a better version of themselves. Yep. And so what, what goes into that process of like creating your own brand, right? At that point of, of like, you know, your own clothing line. Well, that's a lot of work. Yeah. That's a lot of work. And I think that the goal here is first than anything, it's make sure that we have a great store. Yeah. That we know how to manage the store, that we're happy yeah. with the job that we're doing. And the client feels satisfaction with us and is happy what we bring. And then in the future, thinking on other issues. But right now, our goal yeah. is that every woman that gets in our door and give us the opportunity to offer our clothes or, mm -hmm. or everything that we sell, definitely it's happy and it will come back. And the best way to do it is when they came back, come back to that door or send somebody to your yeah, store. Right. That is the most rewarding we can get. Yeah. Yeah, and um, we definitely, when we started, like the first idea was uh, swingwear, and we definitely offer swingwear year round, but uh, we really didn't want to focus only on swingwear. We love the, the yeah. idea of like a wholesome boutique. So yeah. even if it's a small space, we have swingwear, we have cover-ups, we have resortwear, but we also have uh, fashion clothes, like business clothes, we have our denim corner, our designer and special events collection we cool. call it where it's cool. like a very nice clothes if you have to go to like a beach wedding or, yeah. or a nice party and we have a gift area so we really have <laughs> a love going on inside that space and i and i love it because um it, it's kind of sad if somebody comes to the store and they and they look around at the clothes and they feel like uh, maybe this this is not for not me. For, yeah. Maybe if I was younger, maybe if I was seeing it. I hate that when people like, yeah, they look around and they think the store is not for them. So, but I think like everybody that comes into a store, they can find something. If they don't like the swingwear or not ready for swingwear, or they don't like the clothes, they might find a nice gift for a grandbaby. Or if they are not really feeling it with their body at that moment, they might get a nice sweater, kind of oversized sweater, but that is nice and makes them feel mm -hmm. good. So we really want that. And when you create a brand, you have to be like super narrow focus, yeah. I think. And that's, that's like kind of like a niche, part that right. I, I don't like about that. Because I really like having the wholesome boutique where everybody can yeah. find inclusive, something. like everyone. It is. Yeah. That's yeah. The, yeah. Like we try to be for the, everybody. And sometimes they say, oh, if you try to serve everybody, you don't serve anybody. But I don't think, I mean, in the location where we are, it's kind of like a small town and I want every, everybody to feel included. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. don't want to say, yeah, this is only for like uh, super body. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we really Anybody feel is yeah is welcome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all ages. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it goes back to like the relationships and the connections mm -hmm. of the people that you guys like yeah. too as well, right? And of course, we are the ones that we buy. We buy what we like. So yeah. some women are gonna feel more connected to what we sure. what we have. But that's also why we have like our gift section mm -hmm. and um, um, body products, body locks, and things like that that everybody can relate or buy something there yeah i like that do you guys think that this um that boutique stores are becoming more and more popular with especially with you know with covid you know that just happened right and and the malls shutting down or, or losing traction yeah. and that sort of stuff do you see like little boutique shops because it is cool to to like visit a, a shop like what you guys have and and go in there every time and it's something something's different yeah. right it's exciting to go back into yeah. the store i think that in my country that's the way that you shop oh yeah here okay. i i have to say that every year i came to usa and bought my clothes mostly here mm -hmm. but every time i wanted to buy something you know, just for fun, like any other woman, I went to a boutique in Venezuela and that was a personal and unique experience. So I think that boutiques are so important because they understand you as what what you're looking for. We do that job. It's a hard yeah, job hunting right. nice pieces that, are, that you can find outside. So we do the dirty job, let's say it, 
and they find something really cute. So it, I think it's going to be more and more common. Yeah. And I think COVID, like really, um, the stores that were online during COVID, they they really exploded because everybody was at home and you had to buy online. Yeah. But after COVID, I guess like people are feeling like they're really going to go back to, <laughs> yeah, to get into a space. brick and mortar and right. talk to somebody. And yeah. and well, and not everybody. Uh, somebody just um, come into the store and you, and you see that they they don't want you talking to them. They, they just want to be searching alone and not talking. But you feel that instantly and that's fine. Yeah. But some other people, they really want to they, they wanna talk and they want your help and all that. And many people are really looking for that now after being cooped up in the yeah. home. Like in Secluded Florida, so in Florida, <laughs> here we're lucky because not everything was closed, but like yeah. I moved here from Colorado and over there everything was closed and was really craving that connection and face-to-face -face interaction. So Yeah, I think that's that's important, right? For for yeah. any business or just like for humans, like, yeah. like you said, like it's important to have that connection, get out, meet people, yeah. talk to people, that sort of stuff. And also I think like... Uh, people now are really focused on also on supporting local small yeah, businesses yeah. that they realize it's so important to support your local community if you want to mm -hmm. have it vibrant and that you need to support that yeah and even though um we bring a lot of inventory from our countries because we really want to bring different things but we are still like a local business that is helping the local economy and the locals are helping us so it's this. Yeah, it's it's all <laughs> one big cycle, right? Yeah, and, and you yeah. guys are helping some of the local women in in different yeah, countries yeah, too, yeah. right? Yeah, same, yeah, same concept. And we have local makers, in yeah, selling things here at our stores. So, yeah. Yep, and you guys, and I know we you've talked about this before, but you you guys are big on supporting women in in our area too, and you, you just did like a donation drive. Yes, and yeah. I love it. I have to thank everyone that had made it. It's yeah. a success. Cool. They're coming tomorrow morning. And we're going to yeah. make a little video to they can see the, cool. the donation drive. It has been very e yeah. excellent experience. I will yeah. say that we will do it all the time. It yeah. has been very good. Yeah. yeah. And so what is, so t I guess tell us a little bit about the donation drive and like what you guys, you guys were collecting like used clothing, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, we just finished today was the last Today's day. the last day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in benefit of Sunrise Pasco Domestic and Sexual Violence Center. So they need clothes to go to work or find a job. Okay. So that's yeah. what we were asking for. But if they didn't have a specific that clothes, it was welcome anyway. Yeah. They need all yeah. kind of help. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So those women sometimes leave home with nothing in a heart because of a violent situation. So right. they really they need, uh, need all help. like yeah to yeah. look for a job to go to a job interview and the, even though they get donations. That's what they told us they needed more, like business clothes. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. And so you guys will do that again. So you, you mentioned today's the last day, but it's something you guys will do again. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And cool. I think that somehow we will have to help guys too because men need to go to an interview and they need clothes sure. too. And yeah. they are victims too somehow, sometimes. So sure. yeah, that's something that we have to sit down and talk yeah. about, but it's definitely something that we're going to do constantly. Yeah, yeah. very cool. Very, very cool. I like that. Um so one question I want to ask you guys before we before we wrap up is um being new to the area, I think it would be kind of cool to get your your thoughts on this. But if you had to pick outside of work, um, and you just want to do something for you, like where or with your family or whatever, if you're gonna to go to a local business or just a local spot, a beach or something like that, um, you gotta pick one one location. Where are you going? I have mine. <laughs> yeah. I have to say that uh first Somehow, I love Osona Blue. That's my preferred yeah. place to okay. go. Cool. Love it. And it's close to my business. Yeah. <laughs> but I have right been the street, coming yeah. there since 2015. So I love it. That's your spot. Yeah. Yes. Ozona Blue. All right. Cool. With my kids, with me, I with like friends. It. Right on the Beautiful water. Place. Yeah. Beautiful. Watch the sunset. Beautiful. And it's super good, the food. I yeah. love it. Very cool. Yeah. Right. Um, well, other than the beach, of course. <laughs> The place where you can always find me there is Barfly. Barfly. In Antampan Harbor. Yeah, like that's it. almost like my second home. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's the first place that I went when I, uh, we were thinking about moving to Florida and we're looking at different areas with a good high school because my son was going to start high school. Mm -hmm. and, and then we were hungry. We stopped there at Barfly. I have the seafood nachos and they got me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> they got me forever. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And Barfly. it's very close to my house. So I, I really like the vibe. They always have music. And I know. Tiki On the weekends, yeah. And, yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah it's different. They, um, it, it is a different vibe for like yeah. Palm Harbor and, and kind of mm-hmm. our area, right? It's cool. I it's like that. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, thank you guys for being here. Is thank there you. anything, any last thing you want to mention or, or, or talk about? I would like to say thank you for all women that has been living in us this time. And I send blessing for everyone here. I have to say that living in USA has been an amazing experience for me. I will never guess that I feel so comfortable. I feel like this is my home. Mm. I feel free. I feel happy. I feel comfy and welcoming. People here is amazing. Mm -hmm. Not only Florida, just USA in general, because Florida is like a... Everybody lives here from everywhere. Yeah. So everyone is so welcoming. And I really appreciate that. And they probably don't have a clue. I love it. So I'm super happy and blessed to be here. Yeah, very cool. I like yeah. that. And I want to say, like, uh, I'm really grateful to everybody that helped us when we were starting. We were yeah. looking for a location. We were always networking, knocking on doors, talking to people. And there were so many that helped us, like even uh, fellow boutiques. Uh, like you will say that there yeah. could be a competition but like so many opened their doors for us to do pop-ups with we didn't have a location uh, i don't want to forget anybody but like coastal market in bel-air um the ivory yeah, palm, the ivory palm mm-hmm. uh, chiki boutique um Nicole, the W the Salon, Pink Polka Dot Boutique. Yes. Like so many, like, like people always say, like women, they are so competitive with each other. But we have the opposite experience. Like it's been, it's been great, and so yeah. many people help us. And you guys each have your own way. unique styles and that sort of stuff, anyway, yeah. right? Yeah, and everybody has their niche and their customer, yeah. and it's fine. There is room for everybody. Yeah, so yeah, I love that. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Um, well, thank you guys for being here. We'll we'll put all the links and stuff for your uh, website and uh, socials and stuff in the description below um where are you guys located let them know uh you're in you're in ozona right yeah we are in ozona right in the heart of ozona across the ozona peak and uh, next to the courtyard cafe so it's 306 orange street in van harbor which is ozona yeah and uh, online media, yeah we are, <laughs> online we are delmar swim boutique.com um they can find us on facebook on delmar swim boutique and instagram delmar swim boutique shop <laughs> which is long but <laughs> there you are there you go just google yes. it and it, you guys will come yeah. up yeah. right yeah <laughs> if they google yeah they will find the place in google maps and from there they can see everything perfect well thank you guys so much for being here thank you so oh, much thank you so much for inviting us it has yeah. been great thank yeah. you Thank you again for listening to another episode of Palm Harbor Local. I really hope you got a ton of value out of of today's episode. Now, if you're looking to connect with the guest or just get more information on the episode, then you can check the description below. I'll have all the links in the episode as well as a link back to my website. It's palmharborlocal.com where you can stay up to date on what's going on with the podcast and sign up there to join the locals. Let's get after it this week. And remember, together, we keep Palm Harbor Local.